long dormant volcano in northern Ethiopia erupted suddenly on Sunday, sending a plume of ash and volcanic dust across the continent and disrupting flights in India and the United Arab Emirates. No casualties were reported in Ethiopia following the eruption, but local government officials told reporters they were concerned about the impact of the eruption on local communities and their livestock in the Afar region, where the volcano is located. Ethiopia has 50 known volcanoes, according to the Smithsonian, some of which have been dormant for thousands of years. The Ethiopian Rift Valley, home to numerous volcanoes, stretches from afar southward across neighboring countries. The valley was formed by the shifting tectonic plates that later separated and formed the African and Arabian landmasses, and is one of the world's most important geological sites. Here's what we know about Sunday's volcanic eruption and its local and international impact. Haley Gubi, part of the Erda Ale volcanic chain in Ethiopia's northern Afar region, erupted around 11.30 a.m. local time, 8.30 GMT. According to an alert issued by the Toulouse Volcanic Ash Warning Center in France, following the eruption, Residents told reporters they had seen a thin plume of smoke from the volcano about three days earlier. However, no scientific forecasts were reported for the eruption. The volcano has not previously erupted during the current Holocene era, which began about 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age, according to the Smithsonian Institution's Global Volcanism Program. Satellite imagery shared on social media showed the eruption visible from space with a plume of ash billowing and appearing to spread eastward toward the Red Sea. Footage taken from the ground also showed giant ash mountains towering above the mountains, obscuring the horizon. The VAAC reported that a large plume of volcanic ash rose to an altitude of about 45,000 meters, 148,000 feet, at the time of the eruption. And the plume primarily moved northwest. Local media in Ethiopia reported that the ash plume erupted in the area around the volcano, including hillside villages that are popular tourist attractions. In the neighboring village of Afdera, a resident told the Associated Press that he heard a loud noise when the eruption occurred. It felt like a bomb suddenly fell, accompanied by smoke and ash, Ahmed Abdullah told the AP. He added that as of Monday, the village was still covered in ash, and tourists and guides heading to the Danakil Desert were stranded. Afar TV reported that tremors were felt in Ethiopia's Wolo region, in the northern Tigray region, and as far away as Djibouti. Immediately after the eruption, black smoke instead of white ash blanketed the area, plunging it into near darkness. Residents said, there are concerns about how the eruption will affect air quality in surrounding villages. Regional official Mohammed Said also told the AP that the eruption could impact the economy of the local community, most of whom are cattle herders and rely on forage, plants eaten by animals, for their livestock. Much of the area is now covered in a thick layer of ash. Although there have been no casualties or livestock losses so far, many villages are covered in ash. And as a result, their livestock are lacking food, he said. Haley Gubi, a shield volcano, so named because of its low profile and shield-like appearance when viewed from above, is located about 800 kilometers northeast of Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia. 